Today I'm showing you 7 Tinkercad builds you can model in under 2 minutes. Feel free to leave a comment if you need more details. Let's start with the hexagon-based patterned panel. Drop a hexagon and duplicate and move it. Rotate by exactly 60 degrees. Use duplicate and repeat again to build the grid. Set it to a hole and merge with a box. Duplicate and rotate by 90 degrees to get this cool pattern. And here's the printed result. I printed it in black and white and even created one on the laser cutter. Makes a nice coaster or an element to use in a lantern. Now for the sophisticated vase. Stretch a shape into a tall profile. Duplicate and rotate it around the center to a full circle. Cut off the top and bottom with boxes. Duplicate the shape. Cut off two millimeters from the bottom and make it slightly smaller. Then set it to a hole. Align and merge with the original, and you're done. Print this one in vase mode for the best result. Impossible trapped ball. This is a classic. Create a large box and rotate a cylinder hole in both directions to make tunnels through the box. Align the cylinders with the box and merge. Also hollow out a large sphere. Make the trapped sphere the same size as the original box and place it inside by aligning with the box. Then group the whole object. Here's how the object looks like in real life. It makes a nice fidget or desktop item. The two-sided print. Download two SVG files into Tinkercad. Make sure the image height is the same. Rotate both shapes to stand up and rotate one in the Z direction. Now set the width of both shapes to match the depth of the other. Now select both shapes and align them in all directions. Union group the shapes, but set the grouping mode to intersect, or use Control i And here's the resulting print. Looks really cool when you rotate it. Hidden message box. Add text and set it upright. Make a box that is larger than the text. Create a second box that is set to a hole and only slightly smaller. Align and merge everything. Put the model on a ground plate that is slightly larger. And here is the printed result. The text is only visible when it catches light from behind. Print in place gears. Drop a gear shape. Create an axle that is slightly smaller than the hole, but slightly taller than the gear thickness. Align in all directions and put a cap on the axle to keep the gear in place. Put two of these assemblies on a ground plate. Before printing, check that there is a small gap between the gear and the ground plate. They can spin immediately after printing. Sometimes you have to wiggle it to loosen the gears from the plate. Hidden surprise shell. Create a shell from a cylinder and a sphere. Duplicate it and make it slightly smaller. Set it to a hole and merge everything. Put the thin shell on a ground plate. Pause the print before it closes to include a surprise. Here is the printed surprise. To find the surprise, you have to crack it open. And that's all seven builds. Fast to model and fun to print. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did in making these items. Feel free to try dimensions and comment if you need more exact information about these models. Also check the overview of Tinkercad tools and shortcut keys that I used in this video. It's all in the description. If you want full tutorials or more diverse makerspace builds, follow along.